my personal growth was unanticipated uh, from NCLS last year. And it was the response that I got after the symposium. So we had a number of speakers on a broad range of topics, and uh, I received a lot of letters and phone calls and emails about the speakers. And uh, some of them were critical, some of them were full of praise, and in many cases about the same uh, speaker, both praising and, and very critical. And so my personal growth came in dealing with that as a leader, that how are we as an institution, it, that it's okay for us as an institution to present something that people will disagree with. That's not as it, not only is it okay, it's, it's probably expected of us and that we have a responsibility to present topics and present speakers that people will disagree with. And so that was my own journey that I didn't expect, I didn't anticipate until after the NCLS as the response came in. So now this year I'm quite a bit more prepared and uh, I'm, expecting, I'm expecting the same thing. There'll be a speaker that somebody completely disagrees with. They'll find it, they'll find it completely uh, uh, actually irresponsible of us to even have that speaker here. And then the subsequent letter or email will say how great it was of us to have that speaker here and the great message that they had. So uh, I, I think for me, my personal growth, understanding how we can present both sides of the topic to the cadets and to the audience. NCLS prepares the cadets to take on you know, the challenges of not just the things that we know about, but also the challenge to prepare themselves that there's things out there that we don't know. We don't know the challenges of 21st century warfare that they're going to face. But if we can teach them that the foundations of, of, of teamwork and leadership, uh, that, that there are principles that they can hold on to, and the character and values that, that underpin those, that if we can teach them that, then whatever challenges are out there that we don't know about, we don't know what's beyond the horizon, they'll be able to take on those challenges. These cadets know, I mean, it's always on the horizon, it's always just over the ridge, that they're going to be leaders. I mean, they're going to be expected to be leaders in, in, in days after becoming a second lieutenant. And many of them will be in leadership roles w within that year. And, and to think about the, those first classmen that are, that are sitting in those audiences that months later, they will be leaders in, in their organization. And, and it cannot be, uh, to transition from cadet life to being an officer in the United States Air Force. And the symposium has an important role in helping them with that transition. And if for no other reason, uh, by having it that second semester of their first class year, and somebody starts to talk to them about what happens after May, uh, I think that's so important for the cadets to begin to have their, their own reflective moment, their own opportunity to think about how they're going to lead and how they're going to, to, to be the right team member and how they're going to lead an organization.